Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed viewers, today we delve into the life of Anthony Armstrong Jones, a man whose life was as multifaceted and vibrant as the images he captured through his lens. Known widely as Lord Snowden, his journey from a talented photographer to a member of the British royal family, and ultimately an influential figure in the arts and charity, is a testament to his remarkable versatility and enduring legacy. Join me as we explore the captivating story of Anthony Armstrong Jones. Anthony Charles Robert Armstrong Jones was born on March 7, 1930, in Belgravia, London. He was the son of Ronald Armstrong Jones, a barrister, and then Messel, a socialite who later became Countess of Ross. From a young age, Anthony exhibited a keen interest in the arts, influenced by his creative family environment. However, his childhood was not without its challenges. His parents divorced when he was young, and Anthony, known affectionately as Tony, often felt the sting of this separation, he attended Eton College, one of the most prestigious schools in England, where he displayed a talent for mechanics and photography. His school years were marked by his battle with polio at the age of 16, which left him with a limp and a weakened left leg. This experience of illness and recovery would shape his character, instilling in him a resilience and determination that would drive his future successes. After Eton, Armstrong Jones went on to study architecture at Jesus College, Cambridge. However, his passion for photography soon overshadowed his architectural studies. He left Cambridge without a degree to pursue a career as a photographer, a decision that would set the course for his future. In the early 1950s, Armstrong Jones began working as a photographer's assistant before establishing his own studio. His keen eye and innovative approach quickly earned him a reputation as a talented portrait photographer. His work appeared in prominent publications like Vogue and The Vanity Fair, and he became known for his ability to reveal the personality and essence of his subjects through his lens. A significant turning point in his life came in 1958 when he was commissioned to take official portraits of Princess Margaret, the younger sister of Queen Elizabeth II. The princess was captivated by his charm and talent, and a romantic relationship soon blossomed between them. Despite their different social backgrounds and the scrutiny of the public eye, Antony and Margaret's relationship flourished. On May 6, 1960, they were married in a grand ceremony at Westminster Abbey, making Armstrong Jones the first commoner in over 400 years to marry a king's daughter. He was given the title Earl of Snowdon, and from then on, he was known as Lord Snowdon. As a member of the royal family, Lord Snowdon continued his photographic career, capturing intimate and candid moments of the royals, including some of the most iconic images of Princess Margaret and their children, David and Sarah. His unique position allowed him to blend the worlds of celebrity and royalty, bringing a fresh perspective to the often stayed representations of the British aristocracy. Beyond his royal connections, Lord Snowden was deeply involved in the arts and social causes. He was a pioneering figure in the world of design and disability rights. In 1969, he co-designed a groundbreaking motorized wheelchair. And in 1972, he helped establish the Snowden Award Scheme, which provides grants to young people with disabilities to pursue higher education or vocational training, Lord Snowden's contributions to the arts extended beyond photography. He was an accomplished filmmaker, directing documentaries and films that highlighted social issues and the human condition. His work in television and film earned him critical acclaim and several awards, further cementing his status as a versatile and influential artist. However, his personal life was marked by turbulence and complexity. His marriage to Princess Margaret faced numerous challenges, including intense media scrutiny and personal differences. The couple separated in 1976 and eventually divorced in 1978. Despite their separation, they maintained a cordial relationship, and Lord Snowden remained a devoted father to their two children. In 1978, Lord Snowden married Lucy Lindsay Hogg, a film production assistant. Together, they had a daughter, Frances. This marriage also faced difficulties and eventually ended in separation in 2000 after the revelation of Snowden's extramarital affairs and the existence of a son, Jasper, born from one of these relationships. Despite these personal setbacks, Lord Snowden continued to maintain his professional commitments and philanthropic activities. Throughout his life, Lord Snowden's work remained influential and celebrated. He was appointed to various prestigious positions, including as the artistic advisor to the Royal Ballet and the Chancellor of the University of Wales. His contributions to photography were recognized with numerous awards, and his works were exhibited in galleries and museums around the world. In his later years, Lord Snowden continued to be a prominent figure in the arts and charitable sectors. 
he remained active in promoting disability rights and supporting various charitable organizations. His legacy as a photographer, designer, and philanthropist continued to inspire many. On January 13, 2017, Lord Snowden passed away at the age of 86. His death marked the end of an era for a man who had seamlessly blended the worlds of art, royalty, and social advocacy. His life was celebrated by many, reflecting on his contributions and the indelible mark he left on the fields he touched. Anthony Armstrong Jones, Lord Snowden, lived a life that was as dynamic and multifaceted as the images he captured. He was a man of immense talent and vision, whose contributions to photography, design, and social causes have left a lasting legacy. His ability to transcend the boundaries of class and tradition, coupled with his innovative spirit and compassionate heart, made him a truly remarkable figure. Anthony Armstrong Jones, Lord Snowden, was not only an acclaimed photographer and filmmaker but also a visionary whose contributions to design and disability advocacy left a profound impact on society. As we continue to explore his life, it's important to delve deeper into his innovative work and the lasting legacy he has created. Lord Snowden's photographic style was marked by its intimacy and insight. He had a unique ability to put his subjects at ease, capturing their true essence and personality. This skill was particularly evident in his portraits of the British royal family, where he managed to reveal a more human side of royalty, one that was relatable and accessible to the public. His portraits of Queen Elizabeth II, Princess Margaret, and other members of the royal family are some of the most iconic images of the 20th century. They combine elegance with a touch of informality, breaking away from the stiff and formal depictions that were the norm at the time, his work extended beyond the confines of the royal family and celebrity culture. Lord Snowden was deeply committed to documenting the lives of ordinary people, especially those marginalized by society. His 1965 book Private View, co-authored with writer and critic John Russell and art dealer Brian Robertson, offered an intimate glimpse into the lives of contemporary artists in Britain. The book was a groundbreaking work that highlighted the burgeoning art scene of the 1960s and cemented Snowden's reputation as a chronicler of his times. In addition to his work as a photographer, Lord Snowden was an innovative designer. His experience with polio and his lifelong awareness of the challenges faced by people with disabilities spurred him to design practical and stylish solutions to improve their lives. His motorized wheelchair, introduced in the 1960s, was revolutionary. It combined functionality with a sleek, modern design, making mobility aids more attractive and accessible. This invention was not just a technical achievement but also a statement about the importance of dignity and independence for people with disabilities. Lord Snowden's commitment to disability advocacy extended further with the establishment of the Snowden Award Scheme. This charity, founded in 1981, provides grants to young people with disabilities, enabling them to pursue higher education and vocational training. The scheme has helped thousands of individuals overcome barriers and achieve their potential, reflecting Snowden's belief in the power of education and opportunity. In the realm of filmmaking, Lord Snowden's work was characterized by a deep empathy and a keen eye for storytelling. His documentaries often focused on social issues and the human experience, bringing attention to subjects that were frequently overlooked. One of his most notable works, Don't Count the Candles, Just Keep the Fire Lit, released in 1984, explored the lives of the elderly, challenging stereotypes and advocating for greater understanding and respect for older generations. Snowden's artistic achievements were complemented by his role as an educator and mentor. He served as a professor of photography at the Royal College of Art from 1978 to 1986, where he influenced and inspired a new generation of photographers. Lord Snowden's influence extended beyond his lifetime, as his work continues to inspire and resonate with people today. His photographs are held in prestigious collections around the world, including the National Portrait Gallery in London, which houses one of the largest collections of his work. His images offer not only a visual record of the people and events of his time but also a profound insight into the human condition. In remembering Lord Snowden, we celebrate a life of creativity, compassion, and innovation. His contributions to photography, design, and disability advocacy have left an indelible mark on society, and his legacy continues to inspire future generations. He was a man who saw beyond the ordinary. Capturing the extraordinary in everyday life, and using his talents to make a meaningful difference in the world, Anthony Armstrong Jones, Lord Snowden, will be remembered not just for his royal connections or his remarkable height, but for his humanity, his artistic vision, and his tireless advocacy for those less fortunate. 
His story is a reminder that true greatness lies not in titles or accolades but in the impact we have on the lives of others and the legacy we leave behind. Thank you for joining me in celebrating the life of Lord Snowden. His journey from a young photographer in London to a global icon of art and advocacy is a testament to his remarkable talent and unwavering dedication. May his story continue to inspire us to look beyond appearances, to embrace our unique gifts, and to strive for a world where creativity and compassion are at the forefront of our endeavors.